Welcome to the tutorial on plotting functions in GNU plot. In this tutorial, we will learn plot and replot commands for 2D plotting, plot three functions sin x, cos x, and sin x plus cos x, draw grid and set limits, zoom in and zoom out of a plot, Add axis labels and graph title. Change font style and size. Add Greek symbols. Set axis tick marks. And save the data points to a file. To record this tutorial, I am using Debian Linux 9.3, GNUplot 5.2.6, and GRD Text Editor 3.22. To follow this tutorial, learners must be familiar with high school level mathematics. For prerequisite GNU plot tutorials, please visit this site. Open a terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously. A terminal opens. Change directory to desktop as seen. In the terminal, type GNU plot and press enter. The prompt changes to GNU plot prompt. To execute a command in the terminal, press enter after typing it. I will not mention this separately. I will clear the terminal. Now type plot space sin x. Note that angle X is within parentheses. A graphical window with plot of sin X versus X appears on the screen. The limit of Y axis is from minus 1 to plus 1 and X axis is from minus 10 to 10. Come back to the terminal and type the command set space grid. Then type replot to see the grid in the graph. Hold down the control key and move the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Observe that sin x is 0 when x is 0. Let us reset the limits of the axis as before. To reset, type the command reset in the terminal followed by replot. Changes in the graph become visible only after executing the replot command. Notice that the legend is on the top right side in the graph. It is not clear and intersects the graph. Let's increase y-axis range so that the graph line does not run through the legend. Type set the space y range space minus 2 colon 2 within square brackets. I will also change x-axis range. Enter command set the space x range space minus 20 colon 20 within square brackets. Type replot to see the updated graph. Now the changed graph limits are visible. The legend has moved up and does not intersect the data line anymore. Type set the space key space top space left to move the legend to the top left side. Do not forget to replot to see the result. Next, let's make the access fonts larger. I want to set them at size 14 and in Verdana style. Type this command as shown here to change the font size and style. Replot to see the result. Notice the larger font size in Verdana style. Let's set x-axis label as x-angle. Type the command as shown here. Here we are specifying the label, font style and size in a single command. To set y-axis label as sin x, type the command as shown here. We are using the same font style and size for y-axis 2. Type replot and press enter. Now let's see 
how to change the font size in the legend. Type set the space key space font space within double quotes comma 16. This command sets the legend font size to 16. I will clear the terminal. To access help documentation on fonts, type help space fonts. Help command returns with the three subtopics, Cairo, GD and Postscript. I will type Cairo to see the details and available options. Similarly, you may choose to use help for any command when using GNUplot. You may pause the video and read the details given in the help section. Once done, press the control and C keys to exit the help section. I will clear the screen. I wish to add a title to my graph. To add a title, type set a title command as shown here, followed by the title of the graph in single quotes. To set the title font, type the command as shown here. In the sineth versus x plot, dimensions of x axis is angle. Hence, we may want to label x axis in terms of angle pi. To change x sticks to angle, type the following command as shown on the screen. Here, we are using the Greek alphabet pi and setting its position. This command places Greek symbol pi at the value of 3.14. Label 2 pi is at position 6.28 on the x axis. Multiples of pi are placed at their respective positions. For more help on the formats of x text, type the command help space Set the space x ticks. Press Ctrl and C keys to exit the help section. I will clear the terminal. It is also possible to add multiple functions on the same graph. To plot the sine x and cos x on the same graph, separate the functions by a comma. Type plot space sine x comma cos x. Make sure that the angle x is within parenthesis. Notice that the two functions are plotted together now. Next, we will add sin x plus cos x function to the same graph. For this, type plot space sin x comma cos x comma sin x plus cos x. Notice that all three functions are plotted together on the same graph window. Next, let's learn how to get sinx data points into a file. To get an ASCII column format output, set a table command can be used. First, type set the space table. Then type plot space sinx. An XY column data for sin x is generated on the screen. The first column is x data and the second column is y data. They are the points of sin x versus x graph. I will clear the terminal. We can save the output as a text file. For this, type set space table space within double quotes sin x dot txt. Here, sinex.txt is the output file name. Then, type plot space sinex. The output is saved to the file sinex.txt. The data is not seen on the screen. The file is stored in the directory from where we opened new plot in the terminal. Type unset space table. To exit the tabular output mode. Then type quit or Q to quit GNU plot. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we plotted 2D graphs of functions. 
we also added grade and set limits zoomed in and zoomed out of a plot added axis labels and graph title changed the font style and size and saved the data points to a file as an assignment plot the following functions tan x x squared and x minus 3 squared your completed assignment should look like this this video summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it we conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates please write to us post your timed queries in the forum spoken tutorial project is funded by nme ict mhrd government of india this is rani from iit bombay thank you for joining